uh, today's video, I'm, I'm, I'm going to create about how to install the HP or MicroFocus Web Tools application. In the earlier versions of LoadRunner, um, this used to this application used to come with the with the tool itself, which means that once you install the tool, you have the application inside it. But the newer versions, once uh, the tool has been took over by MicroFocus, they have kind of segregated it. And now with the installation, by default, this sample application called WebTools wouldn't get installed. So you have to download it separately and install it. So that's, that's what I'm going to show you now because some of the students, uh, uh, some of my students are trying to install these newer versions and finding it uh, difficult. So, by the way, uh, apart from these trainings, you know, we provide training on NeoLoad and then JMeter and then other protocols as well. And also I'll provide the live project supports. So a lot of people, you know, they just call me and ask me. So I thought, you know, I'll include this uh, uh, at the, in the video itself. Um, well, um, go online and uh, search for download uh, um, web tools application there you go and then whatever the first link uh, that typically shows up that's where you have to download so it's from microfocus and uh, you you need to sign in I've already signed in and downloaded but once you click on download it will go to a place where you can download it and once you click on download if you have already signed in uh, it downloads okay so I've already downloaded it uh, so let me uh, let me go to my downloads so there you go ideally um, once you download it will be a zipped file so you can unzip it uh, using any one of the tools so I've already unzipped and uh, this is what you get um, a strawberry pearl and then the web tools you un un unzip it and this is what you get so first things first you have to install this turbo repel so let me go ahead and install it so it's, just, it's, a, it's a very light tool it doesn't take too much time to install so uh, hardly takes few minutes so let it uh, I'll let it install yeah there you go it got installed and uh, maybe you can check in your all programs to see if uh, uh, this strawberry pearl is installed or maybe you can go to the control panel uh, and uh, go to the programs um, and then check you know if this is installed so yeah the strawberry pearl is installed wonderful now all you have to do is go to the web tools and then click on start server and uh, there you go this is as simple as this now uh, typically the port that will be used is 1080 and uh, this is the local host. The machine that I am using is the local host. So the server, local host, the port, the standard port is uh, 1080. And then for accessing the web tools, you just say web tools. There you go. And uh, if the application is installed properly, then um, you wouldn't have any issues. You'd be able to access it. But there seems to be a small issue over here. Um, nothing to panic about. So let me stop the server. Uh, typically you would have these issues when you have some issues with the port. I remember changing the port. So uh, what I want to do is to go to the config file, go to HTTP D and then change this to 1080. By, uh, by, by default it is 1080, but I was just playing around with the port. So I changed it to 1083. Uh, but you need not have to do this because once you download and install it by default it is 1080 so you need not have to do anything but since I was playing around you know I just ha uh, I, just, I'm, I just went there and then you know changed it back now it re restarted the server and then there you go so you can log in with Jojo B and then sign off do whatever you want you want to do, uh, maybe sign up uh, you can go ahead and sign up here and then do all, all the things that you want. So there's a couple of issues that you might face. Uh, most of the people it's straightforward. So whatever the steps that I've shown you, if you 
you should kind of follow those steps you know it's good enough uh, but for some of the uh, some of, for some of the students um, you know you might have some issues so the first thing what I would do if you have issues is um, um, I mean the issue is like you know the server wouldn't get started so when you're trying to double click on it you know the server wouldn't start it you know temporarily it comes up and goes away so in that case right click on it and you say run as administrator so when you do that you know typically uh, this this problem gets resolved uh, this is the kind of issue that you face when you when you have limited access on the system or maybe you're not an admin or sometimes you know by default you know it will not run in admin mode so when you have those issues you would have to face that so right click on it and run as admin and the second issue is the port okay so uh, typically uh, by default the port that is used is 1080 by the way uh, where did I get this file you go to this web tools go to the config file go to the HTTPD file okay uh, this is the properties file so if you can see by default the port uh, that will be set is 1080 um, maybe sometimes when you have installed a lot of servers or a lot of uh, tools on it uh, this port might be used by some of the application so in that case uh, either the server wouldn't start or even if the server starts you know you would have the issues so in this case nothing to panic about come to this particular uh, file and change the port um, you know identify some port which is uh, which is empty or you don't know oh, which port is empty just uh, you know play around maybe try 1081 and then try to restart the server uh, maybe you know let me close the server and now try to restart the server okay go back here and say start server if the server is starting well uh, then you know you have kind of solved the issue and the port uh, uh, 1081 is open and you are you can use it uh, but you have changed this port to 1081 and started the server now the application over here you have to use 1081 then it will work okay as you can see here you know it's working so localhost okay uh, 1081 yeah and then the vectors okay so typically it works you know the restart has happened properly you see it's working but now you're trying to access to through 1080 it will not work because you have changed the port you see it is not so if 1081 is also not working, try to change it to 1082 or 1083. But whenever you change the port, try to restart the server. Just close this window, which means that you are shutting down the server. Um, and then go back and start the server again. So that the new port will be taken. And whatever the port that you are giving here, make sure you are accessing that website using that port here. So good luck guys. So now we have spoken about the issues as well. So this is about it. And um, uh, I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I have uh, quite some trainings uh, which are going on. So you can you can call me up or WhatsApp me to know what are the trainings going on. Maybe performance engineering, Dynatrace, uh, or any of the load runner protocols or JMeter or Neoload. And also if you, ha if you want some live project supports, you know, I do that as well. Or you have some implementations in your companies you know i'll do that as well so yeah you can call me for any work thank you